Hey guys, so I know it's been a little while since I posted a video. I'm really sorry. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted something apologizing and also kind of explaining very vaguely what has been going on. But basically, I just started school and my schedule is absolutely insane. Also, I really hope you cannot hear this stupid cricket that I have in my kitchen. He's under my stove and I don't know how to get him out. He is my enemy right now. He has been for the past week. As I was saying, school has been crazy busy and whenever I have a new schedule, it's really hard for me to adjust. I'm taking five classes this semester and it's kind of insane. I just really apologize. I'm going to try and get back into a regular once a week filming schedule because I've missed this. This is like my therapy and I just, I miss you guys. So today I am going to be doing a fall makeup tutorial. I'm gonna do something that's really simple but looks like you put a lot of effort into it. And this look is gonna be inspired by Olivia Culpo. I saw a picture on her Instagram and the makeup just looked so pretty, but it was super simple. So I thought it would be something good to share with you guys. So I've kind of been rambling a lot in this intro. I just had some stuff I wanted to share with you, but let's go ahead and get into the video. I did have a clip here somewhere. My filming setup is a mess. My whole office is a mess. My life is a mess. Got it. So I'm going to prime my face first, and then we'll let that sit and go and work on the eyes. I'm just using the regular NYX primer that is my go-to. I'm just trying to finish it up. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna start with the eyes just because we are using a darker shadow, and so we don't have to clean anything up later. I'm just gonna prime my lids first. And for anyone wondering, uh, I do have eyelash extensions on right now. It's a little longer than usual. I just have a very natural set on. I was I was doing eyelash extensions for like three years and I finally got them put on and I love them. They're so convenient. Next, I'm gonna use a cream base to further intensify any shadows that we use over top. This one is by e.l.f. It's in the shade Turkish Coffee. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to show the next product that I'm using because I literally just dropped it and it broke. So I can't hold it up, but it is the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in the shade Bark. I would do something like that. It's just been my life lately. So I am actually going to just use my fingers to pat this into the lid. I find that with these shadows, they work so much better when you apply with your finger. You get a much better color payoff. Now I'm just going to diffuse the color into the crease a bit. Just want to pull it up and create dimension, but really we're only using one shadow. All right, I'm going to jump back to the face. We're going to apply foundation using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Now I'm gonna do just a little bit of cream contour. And I don't like to go too crazy with this normally. I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones and my big old forehead. Under eyes, I'm going to be using the same tar concealer that I used on my eyelids as a primer. To set my concealer and the rest of my foundation, I'm going to be using my NYX HD powder and just use a really small amount of this. I'm not baking 
or anything like that. I'm actually also going to go over the contour really gently and just kind of tap over it because we are going to apply powder over top of that, but I find that this powder really allows everything to blend way more easily. I'm also actually going to tap over my brows with any excess product. I feel like I've been filling in my brows the same way for quite a while. I think the only difference is, is I'm now using one of these brushes for the underneath part of my brow. So I kind of form a straight line. So now we're going to finish up the eyes. I'm going to use the same shadow and the only shadow we use in this look and really just smoke out the lower lash line. You can do this to your own liking. Go as crazy or as minimal as you want, whatever you're comfortable with. Just make sure you're connecting it to the upper outer corner. I freaking love one eyeshadow looks. They're so easy, but there's something kind of grungy and messy about them, and I love that look. So now I'm just going to finish off the eyes with some mascara on the lower lash line. Use whichever one you want. You can also go ahead and apply false lashes if you feel like you need them. Obviously, I have the lash extensions on, so I'm going to skip that. And I'm also not even going to apply mascara to my top lashes. For a powder contour, I'm gonna be using my Tarte Contour Kit. This is just lightly enhancing whatever we laid down with the cream previously. Guess we can hit jawline a bit. All right, I'm gonna use a very, very neutral blush just something that's gonna add a little bit of sheen to the skin. If you've been watching me for a while, you probably know which blush I'm gonna be using. It's one of my favorites, and I use it way too much. But it's really just super subtle. To highlight, I'm gonna go into my NYX Strobe of Genius palette. I'm gonna mix the two outermost large shades, and then I'm going to spray my brush, and this is just the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I just want that highlight to pop. So for the lips, we're gonna go with a dark, plummy, reddish brown shade. This is ColourPop's Tulips. I really like how this lip ties into the eyes because they both have this purplish kind of raisin undertone to them and I think they just complement each other really well. So this is the finished look. It's a little bit crunchy, a little bit glam, super easy. It can be done really fast if you're in a rush or if you just want it to look like you put in a lot of effort but did not. This is the look for you. To me, this is like the perfect lazy girl glam. Be very casual, which is actually pretty accurate to what my style is. And I'm probably going to use that as the video title. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.